The second major class or group that we use in Canada are called sulfonylureas. As I mentioned before, these are drugs that stimulate insulin production. Uh, they act for a fairly long period of time, are taken twice a day and in some cases once a day, and they act to bring your blood sugar down quite swiftly. So this effective medication has one important side effect. They all produce some degree of hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, particularly if you haven't eaten or if you do an excessive amount of exercise, there's a tendency to have hypoglycemia with these medications. Of the sulfonylureas, gliburide or diabeta is probably the most commonly used in Canada. It comes as a 2.5 or 5 milligram tablet and is taken before breakfast or before breakfast and supper. The maximum dose is four tablets of five milligrams, that is 20 milligrams per day, and it's a very effective method of lowering your blood sugar. It acts for perhaps 30 to 45 months before it starts to have less activity and therefore is a good method of lowering blood sugar in people with diabetes, and it particularly is used after metformin. Glyburide has one side effect, however, and that is it causes low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. And this is quite frequent, particularly when somebody hasn't eaten their meal or has done a very large amount of exercise, which is unusual for them. Therefore, you have to monitor your blood sugars when you take this agent. The second sulfonylurea is called glycoside or diamicron. It can be prescribed in two different forms, a 80 milligram tablet that you take one to four tabs per day, that is two in the morning and two at night, or its other form, diamicron MR, which comes as a 30 milligram tablet, and you take between one and four tablets all at one time in the morning. The third one is called glimepiride or amaryl. This comes as a one, two, or four milligram tablet. It's usually started at the one milligram level, is taken only once a day, and it holds the blood sugar down for the entire 24 hours. You can increase the number of tablets that you take depending upon whether you lower your sugar adequately. So you might take one, two, three, or four milligrams per day. And in fact, the maximum dose is taking two four milligram tablets or eight milligrams in a day. You should not go higher than that. It is very similar to gliburide, produces a little less hypoglycemia, and is very effective.